Hello everyone, today that's it, we've made it 5,000 subscribers, yes, the 5k has been reached and passed on the French Cook Academy channel and thanks to you guys, all of the watchers, the subscribers, people that try the recipe, you're all wonderful. This is why today I'm going to do a subscriber request for the recipe of the week and I've got here a message from Blade Handler telling me could you please do some Alsatian recipe? I love that hybridization of French and German cooking. It's what my grandmother raised me on and it is a taste I have been trying in vain to recapture in my cooking ever since. And this is right Blade Handler because the Alsace region in France is in the northeast by the German border and for the one who don't know the, the flavors you get is a mix of German food, French food all blended together. Today we're gonna make the flamencouche or tarte flambé. It is the German answer to the Italian pizza. Kind of a pizza based, you put creme fraiche, you put bacon, you put onion, salt, pepper, nutmeg, place it in the oven and you got a wonderful result for lunch. This is what we're gonna do today. So let's have a look right away without wasting time to make that famous flamencouche. All right, for the pantry guys, if you have these ingredients, mainly bacon, salt, onions, nutmeg, cottage cheese, creme fraiche, flour, as well as a bit of oil and water, you can make that recipe. For the precise ingredient list, as well as a step-by-step -step recipe in a text format, just head to our website, thefrenchcookingacademy.com. The dough for that recipe is extremely simple and doesn't use any yeast. You take 200 ml of water, you add 25 milliliters of oil, as you can see there, boom. When you're done, you just add a few pinches of salt in the mix, making sure that all the salt dissolves before you put it in the flour. That's very, very important. Now using a food processor, you take the dough blade as usual, first thing, you put all your flowers in and then you cover your mixer. When I say cover, of course, I mean you put the top of your food processor. Now, give it a small wheeze. Next thing, you take your liquid, put it on auto and we're gonna slowly, from the top, add our liquid in the mix until we get our dough. When it's done, you stop the food processor. Now you take your dough out and this is your finished product. Look at this. It's moist without being too moist. It's nice and elastic and as you can see it looks a bit like a pizza dough. And that's done in virtually one minute. When it's done basically you put it in a plate or something, doesn't matter, and you reserve it while you're cutting the rest of the ingredients. All right guys, so one important thing, the flamencouche is like a pizza. It cooks in an instant at high temperature in the oven. So all of your garnish has to be cut very, very thin. Look at these onions. I'm using a food processor to cut those. This is paper thin sliced onion. Look at how thin that is. And this is what you want. Same for the bacon. You try to make stripes as small as you can, something like that to make sure everything cooks perfectly. And now for the base, ultra simple, you take your crème fraîche, put everything in. You then take some cottage cheese, not too much. And then you're gonna add a little bit of nutmeg to your liking, not too much, not too little. You don't put salt because the bacon is gonna use as the salty ingredient. And to finish, you can take a spoon or a whisk or anything like that and you're just gonna slowly blend everything together, so gently. Eh? And you mix until you get a nice kind of consistency for everything. Mixing the nutmeg, the pepper, the cream and the cottage cheese. For the dough, very simple, you're gonna be using a rolling pin and you're gonna lay down your dough and stretch it very, very thinly until it is only a few millimeters in thickness. When it's done, you're gonna lay it out on a full-size baking tray. When it's done, you get something like this. Of course, it doesn't look like anything special, but the important is that it's really, really thin. Look at this. If I take mine, I can almost see my fingers through and this is what matters. Your dough has to be really, really thin. And when I'm ready to put the base on. 
And now for the fun part. You take your mix of creme fraiche and cottage cheese and you're gonna, like a pizza, put little mounds and slowly you're just gonna spread it out on your dough and you go back and forth until you get a very very thin layer. Okay, all done, looks good. And now time to sprinkle some onions same thing for the Mr. Bacon. Don't you love bacon? I mean, this is the one thing I love. Of course, one thing I forgot, guys, you have to preheat your oven before you roll out your dough at 200 degrees Celsius or 420 Fahrenheit. So please do that. Look at those. Lovely. All right, all done. So this is it. This is the flaming couche. I'm gonna now put it in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 420 Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes and then take it out and look at the result. And that's it guys. I've taken the flaming couche out of the oven and this is the result. I have to be honest, my oven is maybe not that great. I left it a little bit more than 10 minutes, more like 15 minutes to have this nice kind of burned edges. But look at this result. This is a typical German, Franco-German pizza style stuff. Look at this. I'm gonna take, I've cut already one of the pieces to let you see. Look at the, look how thin that crust is. It's moist, the bacon is in there, mm. the cream, and I'm just gonna roll it up and try to have a bite, if you don't mind, in that lovely piece. Oh yeah. Ah. Mm. Yeah, top. Mm. Really good, really moist. You really have that nice kind of fragrance of the um, onions mixed with the bacon and that cream in the background and a nutmeg. A delicious, delicious little dish. But anyway, guys, let's keep it short. This is my recipe of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if one of the subscribers or like my dear subscriber that sent me my message wanted to taste that Alsatian recipe, please do. And I hope it will revive some memories. And that's it for the week, guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the channel and the recipes, please subscribe. We now have also a .com website, a Facebook page, and much and more things coming. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.